like graveyards and our witch's station and our porch Halloween decorations and you know sometimes you just need like another little corner to um, kind of display all your little odds and ends and you know if you don't have something like an old wood stove um, you can always get like in a little end table or a little buffet table or you know just something where you can start displaying some of your little extra things that you don't want to put outside um, and this is kind of a fun little display that I like to do for Halloween and some of those things again involve a lot of black spray paint uh, once again or just a lot of black paint so as long as you're decorating for Halloween you might as well just go buy that stuff ahead of time because chances are you're going to be using it so one thing I did do was just find a bunch of these little um, items again at the thrift, thrift store and spray painted everything I could black you know candlesticks little candle holders um, anything that just kind of looks creepy and Halloweenish. So again, get out your black paint and your black spray paint. Um, if you find ever find a bunch of these little bottles, whether they're antique bottles or they're just um, you know old perfume bottles or something that you might want to get rid of, um, keep those for Halloween and then maybe just put on your own labels on all of that. And you can either make your own labels or you can buy them and just put them on there. And now here's something fun we did. Um, there's our little garden snake that sheds its skin. And uh, I think we have about two or three of these that we kept that used to be in with our science project uh, stuff for homeschool. But instead we turned those into a little bit of a Halloween display. So, you know, keep all that kind of creepy crawly stuff. Um, you know, dead bugs or anything the kids might bring you home that, again, may have been used for a science project can always get turned into a Halloween decoration. So, there's another fun way to use bottles and, you know, you can label them with blood types or um, you can buy the labels. There's all kinds of fun things you can do with these little creepy bottles. So, hang on to those and then, um, you know, start collecting things like cauldrons and um, these little cigar boxes that we just painted and uh, found more stuff out in the yard like an old deer jawbone, <laughs> uh, you know, feathers, you name it, you can create little hex boxes, um, you know, fun little witch odds and ends um, to add to your little display area for Halloween. So that's kind of a fun project for the kids because they can go out and kind of collect things that they think are creepy and crawly. Um, and then, you know, we also do fun things like make little um, Halloween hair um, bows and, and uh, barrettes and stuff like that that are fun to add to some of your Halloween crafts. So, you know, do all that kind of stuff and then, you know, get, get it. Sorry. Don't forget about just, you know, your fun spooky Halloween music and your um, fog machine and your black lights because you want all kinds of fun little special effects to go with all your Halloween decorations. So, um, you know, get an old book if you can and just uh, paint the front of that black and turn it into a spell book. Uh, you name it, you know, just get some kind of little group of items there that you like and put them all together in one place and you have another Halloween display. So, and another thing you can go do is, um, you know, if you don't want to get too involved in making some Halloween pillows, See if you can just go find some Halloween napkins, uh, which is what I did, and once again, found those at a thrift store, and turn that into kind of a fun Halloween pillow. So if you don't have a lot of time to sew, just go find some Halloween napkins, and now you have a pillow. And then something else that we do here is we kind of try and make a lot of fake pumpkins. Um, and the reason for that is because our real pumpkins in the Rockies usually freeze or rot by Halloween. So. <laughs> We have to come up with all kinds of alternatives for um, fake pumpkins. And this is a super easy one. And that is just nothing more than a dryer vent uh, that's been folded together into a circle and then just tied at one end. 
and then spray painted and glued a little bit of moss on the top there. So you can do those in all kinds of fun colors. And uh, then you'd have some fake pumpkins. And then, you know, you can also use that kind of stuff for Thanksgiving um, or some kind of like a fall decor. So lots of ways to reuse these pumpkins uh, towards the end of the year. So there's a good way to, fun way to do some fake pumpkins, you know, and then grab all the kids, again, their creepy crawly toys you can find and add it into your Halloween display. So there's another little area for you to put together. Now let's go over to the actual table and talk about some more crafts. And one thing that I really like to do, which I talk about in a lot of my videos, is use a lot of our crafts on our tablescape. Um, and the reason for that is just because it's a fun way to exhibit all your kids and your own um, crafts and your artwork. So a lot of the crafts that we do involve setting up our tablescapes for the holidays. And a couple ideas for that. Um, here's one for a candle holder. And uh, this is just a styrofoam head that I think we found at Walmart or, you know, just one of the cheapy stores. Um, and then got some of that stone accent spray paint uh, and just sprayed it on the styrofoam and then drilled a hole into the top uh, and sprayed it again. And then, of course, put our handles in there, or candles, I'm sorry, and then set it on top of a candle holder. So that's an easy way to start kind of putting some different kind of a rock look um, theme into your tablescape. Um, and then we, I did that again with my gargoyle, where once again I used the stone, kind of like a stone accent spray paint. Uh, and this was just a little crazy guy that I found at well, like one of those local ceramic stores in town. Uh, but you know, you could probably find them online or even make your own out of a mold. But this is uh, just my gargoyle that I just love and a little bit of that stone spray paint and then also a base to put them on. So fun ways to <clears throat> kind of add some grays and some texture to your tablescape. And then just throw kind of like a little mesh fabric on top of that. And then uh, another fabric I really like to use <clears throat> is cheesecloth. And this is just a, another way to create kind of like a table runner out of some cheesecloth or some more kind of like any kind of a gauze fabric that you can come up with. So that's a fun way to do a runner uh, for your table. And then, you know, with all these items, that's how you're going to kind of create your centerpiece. So I use these glass jars um, in just about every holiday centerpiece I have or some kind of a craft. And I really don't know the name of them, but... Um, I, they're just great because you can put all kinds of fun things depending on your theme on the inside of these jars and then on top of that you still have your candle holders so there's a good way to just kind of put together a little centerpiece you know Halloween has to do with candles and and creepy stuff and um, you know bats and and spiders and rats and any other kind of little creepy thing you can come up with and that's a good way to stick them all inside your glass jars so there's a good way to do your centerpiece uh, which is kind of what you always want to start with and then you know since we were going with this kind of a rock texture um, I had I have to I have to laugh because I had some flooring <laughs> some old flooring tiles um, that I used on one of my my building projects uh, and I thought you know wouldn't it be kind of fun to have sort of a stone charger so instead of using like a regular charger I actually just took some of my extra slate tiles that I had laying around uh, and put that into my tablescape and I just thought that was kind of fun because it kind of went with our little stone theme and then oddly enough found these little slate uh, coasters in a thrift store, once again, um, that actually just happen to match my, my tiles from my flooring. So <clears throat> there we have just some more kind of a stone uh, texture with our tablescape. And I used that instead of a charger. So, you know, get creative with your tablescape because it doesn't have to be the same, uh, you know, routine every time. So with that, Here's another idea that I like to use, 
which is pie pans. And now something like this, you can do one of two things with. You can either paint the bottom of the pie pan, which is kind of a fun project for kids. Um, but if you want to use those pie pans again, you can do something else, which is kind of create just like a little fake bottom. And <clears throat> that way, it looks like it's painted, and you can also use this again on something else if you wanted to. Um, or, you know, you can just do something like this, which is just gluing a piece of black fabric onto a piece of cardboard, and then gluing some candy corn or some other kind of cute little Halloween item that you might come up with onto that. So, <clears throat> there's a fun way to use pie pans, which I use on all kinds of things. It's just different than a plate. And kind of create these little fake... Um, bottoms if you want to do something fun like that. So there's a way to kind of change up your tra traditional uh, table setup and then you know just find some bowls and cute little like lit up pumpkins or something like that that you want to set up on your on your plates um, and there you go and there's just something a little different. And then another fun thing you can do is create your own little place cards and this are, these are my little napkin ring holders that I use for everything because I can actually turn them into a place card holder if I choose to. Um, and that's nothing more than just some chalkboard paper uh, that's been cut out into the shape of tombstones or whatever it is you choose uh, to use for your shape. So there's another fun way to do place cards. And then here is a great idea for a silverware holder. And uh, you can either use toilet paper rolls or you can use, I think this is like the tube that they send stuff in the mail, that they use to send stuff in the mail. It's a little, little bit sturdier than a toilet paper roll. Um, but that's just a tube, cardboard tube, that has some cheesecloth and some googly eyes um, glued to it. So there's your glue gun project again. And that's a fun way to uh, hold all your silverware together. So you can make little mummy holders. For your silverware and then here's a cute one I saw on Pinterest which was just taking off the uh, Tic Tac labels of your Tic Tacs and then putting a new label on which you can actually just print out right off the internet and that one just says ghost poop which was kind of a cute idea but that's a nice another nice little table accent that you can incorporate and um, you know there's always some place to put a cute little chair cover so these are my little ghost chair covers, and that is nothing more than a uh, pillowcase with some black pillowcase eyes that I cut out and sewed on there. Oh, sorry, sewed on there as well. So there is your little ghost seat covers. Just go find all your old white uh, pillowcases and either glue or uh, paint some black eyes on and a nose on there. So there is your chair covers or your chair accents, which is a super, super easy one. And then, you know, you can always create some kind of a fun little um, menu. You know, you can change this into just a saying or a quote, or it could even be your dinner menu. Um, but I've talked about this little project before, and I only because I use it all the time. And all that is, is an old mirror um, that I took apart. And this was probably like from the 70s, so it was that real nasty gold looking uh, color. But spray painted it white and then added a little bit of a chalkboard, uh, adhesive chalkboard paper onto the mirror. So now I can use that for all kinds of events. Um, so that, and then the <clears throat> also added like just a little scarf to the bottom and found a uh, stand, a sign stand, of course, at the thrift store. So there's a fun way to create kind of like a little menu board for your table or just some kind of a sign for the holidays, which I do a lot of. And here's another one, you know, just go get some plastic glow-in-the-dark teeth and use that as a napkin holder. So, you know, it just goes on and on. There's so many fun things that your kids can help you with. Uh, to get your tablescape set up. And again, that's just a fun way to see every, or for everybody to see all their fun little crafts, as well as your own. And then, if you want to do some kind of a little background, you can do, um, you know, just an easy, super easy banner. You can either buy the burlap banner, 
like I, I bought here, which was probably at Joann's or some craft store. Or you can go get some paper lunch bags if you don't have enough of them because I ran out and turn that into kind of like a little banner uh, with some twine. And these are uh, some fun little cards that I think I bought on Etsy. And they're just some kind of a, like a little Halloween theme card uh, that I just thought were really cute and glued onto my banner. So fun way to just kind of use everything you can find. Uh, this is just some old mesh gauze that you can buy at you know, Walmart, Halloween stores. Uh, found some old tassels, some curtain tassels, which I'm sure I got in a thrift store. Uh, and just put it all together and before you know it you have just some kind of a fun little Halloween theme. And then uh, last but not least, you know, don't forget to decorate your costumes. And as you can see on my hat, um, this was just an old witch's hat that I sort of embellished. So, you know, just get your glue gun and glue all kinds of fun stuff on there. You know, ribbons and sparkly spiders. Um, anything you can find, but you know, I found this one just at some little secondhand store and um, didn't like what was on it, so I ripped off whatever I didn't like and glued back on some cute stuff that I did like. So you can add, you know, extra material to it, extra lace, you can glue more spiders onto that. So just so many fun things that you can do with your costumes. So whether you make them from scratch <clears throat> or you're just embellishing what you have and making them funner, there's lots of ways to be crafty. So hopefully <clears throat> you'll get to see all my videos. And if you have any questions, come see me at Susie Homesteader of the Rockies website and we'll answer any questions that you might have. So have a happy Halloween and we will see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>